25 to like 20. <laughs> yeah, here, are there any young girls here? Is there anybody here that age? Like a few of you. Okay, so you'll know pretty much. This is why I love them. You're basically retarded. It's a never ending source of entertainment. I fucking love it. I don't want you to challenge me mentally in any way. I just want you to be cool. Especially if you're hot. If you're a hot 22 year old to a college educated 37 year old man, you're like a smart dog. Don't get me wrong, I love you. You do awesome tricks, but like we're never gonna play chess. We're just we're not gonna do it. <laughs> Have you ever had someone say something to you that's so stupid that you can't even quite be sure like that they even said that? We're like, nobody's that dumb. I must have misunderstood you. I was on a date in Los Angeles on the Walk of Fame. You guys know what that is, where those stars are on the ground. This is what she actually said to me. She goes, I love coming here because I love walking over the graves of the fallen celebrities. And I was like, what do you think is going on right here? You need to repeat yourself. Because you said what I thought you said, I said, I'm in love, and let's just do this right now. Let's make this official. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Or at least until you turn 28, and then you can hit the road, hag. <laughs> and she said it again! But the problem was, she said it so confidently that a part of me was like, like, am I wrong? <laughs> These are graves? Really? How did I not know that? That's weird. No, there's no, Alpha's not dead. No, no, that's not a person. I'm right, she's wrong. <laughs> You just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I love it. It's so full of life and hope, too, at that age. They haven't, like, gotten rejected from a job interview yet. They don't know what life's all about. They wake up in the morning at 21, they're just like, what does the world have to offer me today? At 37, you're like, pain and suffering. That's all it has to offer. <laughs> but the best thing about it, when you, are you going out with her? Is you can attest to this. Their vaginas are perfect. <laughs> right? <laughs> Everything is still, like, you know what I mean? Like packed. It's still like it's still inside. It looks like it's supposed to in the books. Enjoy that while you can, because at some point it won't look like that anymore. At some point it looks like you took a hand grenade and just said fuck it and just, just let it sink to the bottom of your stomach and then it just goes tick 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 tick. Just blows, just blows everything out into this weird vag cleavage situation that looks like Inspector Gadget's hat. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'll still take it. I'll still, I'll still accept that in a vagina. I'm not sending it back. I'm just saying, that's not what I was shopping for. That's all I'm saying. It's like my dream car is a Maserati, but I'll drive a Honda Civic. It's functional and it'll get me where I'm going. And it's not like I'm any better. At my age, at 37, my balls have become so fucking droopy and like wrinkled that at this point when I'm naked, it looks like I always just sat in gum. It's this weird like, is that bazooka? No, no, I wish it was bazooka. No, it's not. We're my testicles now. My body is failing me. Just failing. I shit my pants in Australia like four months ago. 